The total number of people who have ever been born, number's about 100 billion. Now ask, how many total possible people can be born? Just look at the genome and rearrange it. You know, it makes tall people, short people, you know, dark-skinned people, light-skinned people, everybody in between. You can make all kinds of people with the human genome. How many total humans are possible? That number is astronomically large. It is large, 10 to the 30th power, which is a billion, trillion, trillion. It's likely even bigger than that. Ugh. Which means, in practical terms, no one who will ever be born will be identical to you, first of all, in every way. But that's, that's not the most important fact. It's that we're the lucky ones. A point made by Richard Dawkins, more poetically than I can recite here. We're the lucky ones. We're the ones who get to die because you only get to die for having lived. Most people who could ever exist will never even be born. So, so no matter what your lot is in life, if you are, have a disease or you have cancer, you're crippled, whatever is the thing, at the end of the day, you're alive not dead, nor not having ever been born. So take every occasion you can to smell the flowers, to drink in the sunsets and the sunrise and the, and the, the majestic sky above you that they cradle through the nighttime hours and celebrate life because you won the lottery and most people will never even know there was a lottery. If that's not motivation to live life to the fullest and not fear death, because I'd rather die than never having been born, uh, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs>